everybody. Uh, we're back. Today we are going to be making what, Nolan? Hamburgers. Hamburgers on the grill. And and you need to put this on the white thing. That's right. If you want to see how to light a grill, uh, check out our very first video. And it will show you exactly how to do what we're doing right now. Oh. I got scared. <laughs> got a little scared. Try one more time, Nolan. Close. Did I do it? Yep. Let's get inside and make some burgers. Okay, we're gonna get our burger meat ready to go. Um, there's lots of different ways to season hamburgers. We're gonna keep it pretty simple uh, today with ours. Let's start with two pounds of 80-20 beef. Okay, when you see those numbers, what that refers to is the amount of fat content within the meat. Um, when you're doing something like hamburgers, you want to make sure you got some fat with them. You don't want to be doing like a 93 or a 90% beef. Um, it just, you're not going to get the same flavor. They won't be a good juicy burger like that. So you want something with a little bit of fat content. All right, Nolan, you want to start with our seasons, seasonings, ma'am? Worcestershire? Yeah, let's do that. Fat pepper. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. All right. Let's start, uh, which one do you want to start with, ma'am? Mm, the white order. Which oh. one is the white order? Let's start with the kosher salt. That's the white order. Now, hamburgers, we need a little bit of salt over the bowl. Thank oh. you. I didn't know you were. Okay. Is that Boom. the salt? It's about a teaspoon. Is... Sprinkle it. Don't just dump it in one spot. Sprinkle it all around. Use your other hand, ma'am. <laughs> what was that? All right, grab the black pepper. I'm just going to... No, 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 black pepper goes straight in. Good. Okay. And all these things, as you can see, we're not really measuring. We're just doing it to taste. So do it however you want to do it. It's this way. Yeah, you're doing perfect, man. I like putting Worcestershire in burgers. Okay. Adds a little um, zing to it. I'm going to do it in the pepper spot. That's perfect. I wouldn't do more than like a tablespoon, but again, it's just to, to doing it to taste. So whatever you like, I'm just uh, that's mix what it you around. do. All right, I'm now Nolan, roll up your sleeves. What? We're about to get in there. Ready? I thought we were pausing. Squish. Squishy. I have to feel the blood. Where's the blood part? Oh, there's a. Start squishing it together, man. And all we're doing is moving those seasonings around. It smells a little good, smell it. Yeah, that's that sauce you put in, man. I think we're good. Let's put them into patties. Next step, we're gonna make our burger patties. Okay, so I got about a handful. Oh, we're gonna smush it in my hand, buddy. Oh, I thought we were doing. And then, a little trick to the trade. Put a little dimple in it. It'll keep your burger from squinching up when it's on the grill, okay? Um, if you've ever been to a cookout and somebody has a burger that's about this thick and about this wide, okay? It's because they didn't put that little dimple in that. That is a perfect dimple. Put it on the plate or the platter and let's make another one. We love cooking out in the summer, okay? The smell of barbecue. Somebody was barbecuing earlier today when we were outside, we were doing some sidewalk chalk and uh, we could smell the grill and so I said, oh, we have to do a grilling video tonight because this just smells amazing. So that's what we decided no. earlier today. Wait, no, you didn't put it all the way. You don't put it all the way, bud. I don't want a hole in it. Oh, I do. I just want a dimple in it. There you go. Right there. Perfect. So that's what they look like. Um, we're gonna go get some side dishes ready for dinner as the grill is still smoking and getting ready for us. All right, when we put the burgers on the grill, okay, we don't want to throw them because it's going to break apart. We lay it nicely without touching the grill. Yep. <laughs> and we're on. Let's put these other ones on real fast. Just a couple minutes and we'll pull it. Oh, the 
smell good. All right, scoop under. Whoa, the juice. Now, when we're eating, yeah, that's the fat from the burger. Good job, flip it over. Oh, good try. Now, when you're it, doing it, that's okay. Ooh, I'll try the next one, I guess. Give us some space here. Look at that, no one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me get these ones out of the way. That's really smoky. That's just a little guy. All right, Nolan, you get to do this one right here. Under. Flip. Okay, Ready. so we flipped our burgers. We let them go for about another three or four minutes. Okay, uh, now we're gonna pull them off. And Ready. it's so steamy. It's so steamy. That's why we use charcoal in our house because if you cook with a gas grill, while it is easy, it is convenient, it is super fast, it does not get all that delicious smoke that's getting in our eyes right now, is it? Hop down, bud. You can do it from down here. That way it doesn't get right in your eyes. There you go. That's better. Right on. Boom. Let me bring our tray over. Great job. Do it faster. Faster? Because um, I have to get full. Woo! After. What? You bailing on me? All right, it's just me now. Stuck with just me. I'll get these last couple off the grill, I guess. Now, Nolan and I, we like cheeseburgers. So I'm going to leave these last two on for just like another 30 seconds. It's not going to take long at all just to melt this cheese up on them a little bit. Because I'm a dummy, I put those together and that cheese is gonna stick together. But you can already see the cheese bending. It's not gonna take more than 30 seconds and we'll be ready to take them off. And it'll continue to melt because the burger's hot underneath it. So just once it's folded over, we're trick. If you look deep inside the grill, you can see our bottom vents are open. As long as these coals are getting oxygen, they will continue to burn but we're done cooking, so they don't need to continue to burn. So I'm gonna show you one more thing. When you're done cooking, you wanna close off your vents, okay? And that's what that's for. We'll put the lid back on, and we'll close this vent as well. Those coals can be used the next time we're grilling, okay? Coals are not a one-time use. You can keep burning them over and over and again, as long as you save them. But if you leave your vents open, they're gonna to continue to burn and like a candle, eventually burn out. Okay, our work is done. We're ready to enjoy our cheeseburgers that we made. Okay, Nolan, what kind of toppings like do you like to put on, on yours? <laughs> you like pickles on yours? Go ahead and throw a couple pickles on there, man. I like lettuce on mine. A slice of tomato. You know what, I'm gonna go two slices of tomato today, Nolan. I don't I like tomatoes. Oh, really? I'm gonna get a couple pickles. Can I get a couple of these? You can yep. eat, that, eat that last one. Okay, I already ate another one. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Uh, do you want any ketchup or mustard on yours? Yeah. Okay, what are you going with today? Uh, Just ketchup? Um, now, that's do it ketchup. on this bun, babe. There we go. Well, that looks pretty good. That's probably enough. Nice job. Can I have some of that too? I know when. when Do you want any mustard? Mm, let's see if it tastes good. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put a tiny bit because I don't really like it. Well, if you don't like it, man, no, you I don't have to. I just want to try it one more time, but I'm just putting a tiny bit to make sure if I add it. Okay, then don't put a lot on there, man. Cool. Right in the middle for that middle bite, that perfect bite, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And that's all what I like to put on my sandwich. And I like to eat pickles plain. <laughs> Absolutely. You ready to take first bite? Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to the kids. Goodbye. I thought you were not taking the bite. Yeah, we're going to right now. Okay? okay. If a kindergartner can do it, so can you. See you tomorrow, guys. Mmm. We didn't tell them how old they are. Oh, how old are you? Six. It's like summer. Right there. That just tastes like summer. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's just going to be a five minute video <laughs> of us munching on hamburgers. 